Okay, guys. So, we have Act Razor Renaissance. And, you know, I was completely surprised and happy to see that we were getting a remake of the original Act Razor. I would have preferred a sequel, honestly, just because leave the original intact, you know, and just do something new with it, but still, very good news. Then I played it. Now, bear in mind, there are a lot of good things about this game. Um, the music, obviously, Yuzo Koshiro knocks it out of the park with this one. Fantastic rearrangements of the original game, plus some new tracks. All really good stuff. And some of the graphics are pretty good, and some are... Well, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, the combat, I do like some of the little changes that they made to the combat scenes. You know, they're pretty good overall, I would say. So there is some good improvements with this game. You know, this is not like what some people say is like a terrible remake, quote-unquote, at least in those regards. However, what really did it in for me is the damn town sequences, which I'm not even going to torture you guys with. I'm not going to show you just how terrible these are. I'm sure there are other people that will show you how bad they are, but I will explain. So, in the original game, of course, the town scenes are just meant to be kind of a chill break in between the action sequences, where you get to, you know converse with your town members or well I guess you don't really converse they just tell you what they need and what not and tell you what's going on essentially because you're not really talking to them uh, you really only talk like this with the angel that uh, you use to uh, I guess help out the town people or whatever you know the cherub as as you will and of course I seen some idiot on Steam call it woke razor because the cherub looks feminine I mean have you seen a cherub before? <laughs> Not exactly the uh, symbol of masculinity, so... <laughs> yeah. Um, some people just have completely stupid takes. But... Yeah, the town sections. Where do I even begin with these things? Just awful. I mean, this is just kind of a random rambling kind of thing, because I really don't even know where to start. I'm still trying to process what they were thinking when they did this. So in the original game, essentially the town sections were, you just direct your villagers to build roads. Um, they develop the village on their own. Of course, whenever the village gets advanced enough and you can build better like buildings and farms and whatnot, the villagers will like, eh, we'll just uh, wait until you lightning our shit to death. And then we have to rebuild, and we'll rebuild the better stuff. You know, that's still intact. You know, the good old uh, god being that you are, randomly smiting people so that they can make progress. I guess that's kind of like how we are in real life, you know, right? Um, we, we don't really make progress unless uh, some people suffer for it. But I digress. That's not really the topic of this video here. So... The town sections, they changed it up to where you have a lot more involvement in what's going on. It's not like you're just kind of chilling out, doing little mini quests for the villagers every once in a while, which are brought to you entirely through dialogue from the villagers. And, um, you know, basically it's just a way to kind of chill and progress into the next action stage. And you're not spending a ton of time in the original game. You're spending like, what, 15 to 30 minutes? in any given town section in the game and occasionally you'll have to like revisit towns like you get like certain like little technologies and whatnot from other towns that you can take back to these other towns to make them better um, as far as I know that aspect is entirely gone which is kind of a shame honestly because it's kind of fun to revisit the towns as they are um, this is me of course kicking the ass of the centaur and one really good thing is you can replay stages and go back and really kick some butt with some of the extra powers you got. So that's kind of fun. But I digress. Uh, what they did with the town sections is 
they added this kind of horde mode mechanic where you have to build like forts and encampments and things like that and then you have like a hero like a town hero that you use that you can command to deal with the enemies and whatnot and you could place like uh, barricades and you can use your magic and whatnot to kill the enemies as well and these sections just totally suck <laughs> they're not fun at all man um they're so boring and slow and they manage to be both convoluted and simplistic at the same time and I know it doesn't really make much sense at all, but it's just something you would understand once you play the game for yourself. And if you've been wanting a new Act Razor, this really puts us in a tough spot because if we just, you know, not buy this game, Square Enix might take that as like, oh, you guys don't want more Act Razor anymore. But at the same time, do you want to buy a turd? <laughs> That's what it boils down to, essentially. And wow. Um, instead, if you've never played it, I highly recommend you check out a game called Soul Seraph, which is put out by Sega and developed by Ace Team, uh, who made some other games like Abyss, Odyssey, Xenoclash, a um, couple of others I can't think of off the top of my head. Um, they're kind of like a small indie developer, and they made their own game called Soul Seraph, which was kind of like a, uh, you know, a tribute to ActRaiser. Uh, is it as good as the original Act Razor? No, not really. Uh, but it is infinitely better than this one. I can tell you that. And right now, Steam has it on sale for five bucks, whereas this costs thirty bucks. Um, Soul Seraph has better graphics, uh, better combat overall, way better town sections. Because I know some people may not be fans of tower defense, and I'm not like the biggest fan, but I enjoy some tower defense. But that's the way it handles its town stuff, and it just works out way better than what they did here. Um, yeah, I really don't know why Square Enix decided to remake a classic, because unless they really knocked out of the park, it was bound to be a disappointment. They should have given us a sequel, brought some new ideas, and just kind of did things from there. Kind of like how Dark Cloud on the PS2, in a way, was sort of like a tribute to act razor but it had like its own ideas and was involving the formula and then that was like it. nothing else happened and then soul seraph eventually came out from two years ago and actually enjoyed that game quite a lot i beat it this year um this one i'm gonna play through it but outside of the main combat scenarios i have not been enjoying it this uh town section nonsense is just terrible so, if that was like your favorite part of ActRaiser, <laughs> yeah, just stay away from this. Uh, but, I don't know. At the same time, it's like, we're at a, it's like a catch-22. You're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't. Because, this could be the last ActRaiser game ever, regardless of what happens. Whether it sells a lot, or it doesn't sell at all. But it's... Yeah, I just don't know what to say. I'm really sorry for this stupid rambling. This is my second to last video, by the way, on this channel, because I am going to be starting a brand new channel. I kind of discussed it before in some of the live streams. The next video is basically going to be announcing that channel and giving you guys a link if you want to check it out. So with that, Down Phoenix out.